Warning, this show is not for pussy ass bitches. Nigga, if you can't handle the channel, then get the fuck off the channel. What happened to the first 281 episodes? Well, let's let me tell you, okay? I was on the radio for 16 years after my first profession, which was swimming. I'm a fucking pro swimmer, and I'm a pro radio man. Now I'm on the fucking YouTubes. Fuck yeah, buddy. If you're looking for the last episodes, they're gone. Fucking disappeared. Vanished in thin air. But that's all right, because we're on YouTube now. What? Yeah. Stop. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't need to keep. Oh, and I'm done. All right, everybody. That's it. Bobby, cut the music. I'm done dancing. No, it's not. It's, I can still fucking hear it. It's still on. If I see it's on, it's on. Thank you for turning that off. That was pounding my ears. Fucking pounding the shit out of them. All right, that's right. Vanish. They took him down. They said that I was I was doing fro, fro, fraudery. Bobby, what's the way? You were forgering the episodes. I was forgering the episodes. Every single episode that I ever made, I was forgering. And I don't know how that's fucking possible. How can you forge a fucking talk? Just like a talking show. How do you forge that? Well, you they you told copy me the segments. That's how you'd forge it. Did you do that? Nope. Nope, I did not. All I said was that I was better than everybody in the world, and Howard Stern ain't got shit on me, all right? Howard Stern's a fucking ball bag and prick. I hate him. All right, go fuck yourself, Howard. Go fuck yourself. I might have copied some of the segments, sure. Sure. But how was that forgery? Forgery. Forgery. How was that forgery? How do you forgery? Forgerism. Forger... Mm. Play, plagiarism. Plagiarism. How do you plagiarize a fucking podcast? Fuck, I... You copied. I don't know. I, I didn't copy anything. You just said I you didn't copied co the well, segments. Okay, well, I also had to change the name of the show. That's right. The name of the show is no longer the Joe Rogan Cantaloupe Experience. It's now Johnny Cantaloupe coming at you live with another video vlog podcast. Sit and chat with your guest, featuring your host with the most Johnny fucking kennel is that the whole fucking thing that's the whole name of the show it's, it's the title that's the working title yeah. that's fucking awful why didn't you change that how is that gonna fit on a t-shirt you can fit anything on a t-shirt no you can't you uh, cannot how is my face supposed to fit on the same t-shirt as all them words how many words is that I don't know. you make the words small how many fucking words is that 44 44 yeah. for i that is a lot of words for a t-shirt. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. That's not even a real word. He doesn't know what to count. He just fucking said that word out of his ass. You can't count. Bobby's the dumbest person in the world. He can't count. You all know that. I can count. I can count. Right? You can't. Tell him to count. Tell him to count. Yeah, I guarantee count. he can't. You just start from one, even. You put me on the spot. It's, it's simple. Just count up from one. You can go one and then... Jesus Christ. Jesus well, Christ, you're retarded. Yeah, it's a little It's, it's very so worried. bad. So fucking bad. I'm just gonna move on. That explains this awful, awful set. Stop. No. What are you seeing right now? Stop that. Make it up. I don't like the attitude. Just wait till my fucking introduction is over. Alright. 
So I had to change the name from the Joe Rogan Cannibal Experience because apparently there's already a guy named Joe Cannibal. Wait, I'm sorry. Joe Rogan. Your name was Joe Rogan before? Like, that? Is that your real name? No. No, it's my stage name. Joe Rogan Cannibal. I had to change my name because they said Johnny was too generic of a name. So I came up with another generic name, Joe Rogan. They said that was fine. At least they started out saying that. Now they tell me I got to get a new fucking name. Fuck you. So I called my buddy Tom Segura up. I got him on speed dial. He's my best friend. I called him up and he told me that I could get on YouTube virtually for free. You have Tom Segura on speed dial. Yep, got him on speed dial. He's my best friend. Oh, awesome. I actually met him at the airport uh, when I was uh, traveling. No shit. With my, uh, with my friends. No and, shit. Uh, he didn't tell me that he met some fucking asshole at the airport Yeah, one you time. know, we were actually going to the same place. We actually uh, ended up spending the whole week together, so we're actually uh, pretty Gee, good pals. Yeah, right. He would never fucking do that. You know, why don't you call him up? I would love to talk to him. Shit. That'd be awesome. Shit. Yeah, I got him on speed dial here. I'll call him right up. Got him on speed dial. I guess I'll put it on speaker. Yeah, that's good. Did we get to talk to him? I haven't. I haven't Shut heard. the fuck up. Yeah, all right. Don't fucking talk. I'm going to talk to my boy Tommy without you. I'm going to verify your fucking ball bag story. Speed dial, huh? He's a busy man. He's a busy man. Usually he goes, ring, ring, it rings twice and then he answers. Please leave your message for... Oh, well... Seven, three, well... Yeah. One, oh, one, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah it doesn't... Well, he's busy. No, he's a busy man. Yeah. yeah I he's can actually just talk man. to him real quick. No, I'll call him. No, no. You no, it's easy. No, no, no. Yeah, you no, don't no, have I... his number. No, you don't have his number. Put that, out, put that away. Are you sure? Yeah, put that away. I'm going on. I'm right. going. I'm moving on. All right, we'll just move on. Howard Stern, fuck you. Joe Rogan, fuck you guys. I'm on YouTube now. You can't touch me. All right, on to the news. The news this week takes place in 1997. That's right. 97 is the worst year in American history. It's the only year I'm willing to talk about right now. It's the only news relevant enough that I'm willing to speak of because fuck 97. Mm -hmm. In 1997, my whole year, my whole life collapsed. Everything that I had worked towards had shattered. Worst year in American history. 97 is the worst year, and that's what you want to talk about. That's, That's the most relevant. Absolutely, yeah. There's not a worse year that you could think of. Absolutely not. This is the worst year, 1997, the worst year in American history. What about any year that was the beginning of a world war or just any war in general? How does Uh, that affect Johnny? 2001. What? There's also that. There's nothing wrong with 2001. This year is pretty fucking bad. What about this year? This year is great. My most successful year, I'm on YouTube. But, yeah, okay. What's right. wrong with 2001? Nothing. You lived in New York in 2001. That's right, and the Knicks had a terrible fucking season. What of it? What about a what about a, what about a certain pair of twins that just didn't really Twins. Ho ho ho. I'm glad you brought up twins. Here we go. This is what my father always used to say to me about twins. If there's a set of twins nearby, you fuck 'em. And you fuck 'em raw, buddy, because there's nothing like a pair of twins. Maybe you can even pretend like you don't fucking know. You know, my father, he told me that my mother was a twin. Yeah. That my, my aunt was my mother's twin. And one night, he stumbles into my aunt's room and fucks her. By accident, of course, he thinks it's my mother. Yeah. He fucked her so hard that she fucking died. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he fucked her to death. Yeah. She's dead? Yeah, and he fucked my mother into a wheelchair. That's awful. And he died. How? How? He much? fucked so hard he was like a fucking eight man. He was like a like a gorilla in the sack. I heard it every night. I heard it every fucking night. I heard him. I heard him fucking my mother, fucking her good, knowing that she was taken care of. But yeah, no twins. Twins are great. What? Why the fuck are we talking about twins in 2001? Go fuck yourself, buddy. I want to talk about 97. In 1997, my world was taken over by one little fucking toenail. Toenail? Yeah. 
Just by one little fucking toenail, everything got ruined, you see? I was an Olympic fucking contender. I was on the top fucking ballad of the list of swimmers that were almost in the Olympics, all right? That means I'm the top of something. And not only that, but in 95 and 96, two fucking years in a row, I was awarded the best fucking swimmer in the world. You were a swimmer. I am a swimmer. Yeah, I mean, I don't really... I'm no longer a professional swimmer because in 97, I was diagnosed with the most brutal... Most horrific ingrown toenail known to mankind. That's right. Not only was I one of the best swimmers in the world, I have one of the worst toenails ever. Because I decided one one year, one time, one day in my life, I decided, you know what? I'm going to go on a 24-month swim in the Atlantic Ocean. Okay. And that's what I did. First off, you don't really look like a, a swimmer to me. Who you're asked kinda, you, fucko? You're pretty short. Yeah. Kind of... I got speed like no other. Kind of wide. Well, yeah, know. sure. I'm 28 pounds overweight, but that's nothing. I can lose that in two weeks tops. What the fuck are you trying to get at here? I'm a swimmer. I'm t- when I tell you something, I mean it for real. I'm not a liar like those forgery people say. But f- you said you went on a 24-month swim? Yeah, 24 months in the Atlantic Ocean. So you didn't sleep for two years or eat. That's not true. Did I fucking say that? Did I fucking say that? Don't say things that I didn't say. I'll knock your lights out into oblivion. Okay? When I was swimming in the ocean, nothing was going to stop me. Nothing was going to stop Johnny from fucking... Breaststroke. The butterfly. Dog paddle. That one's just for fun, kids. That one's just for fun. I could swim in any fucking... The backstroke. Right? Any fucking way that you want me to swim, I'll swim. And I was doing all of them. And any time that I got waked up in appetite, which was all the fucking time, I dived down to the bottom of the sea because I got swim... <gasps> I can hold my breath Forever. Forever. I can hold my breath all day long. So I dive down into the bottom of the sea and I take a bite out of a raging hard tuna. A fucking raging hard tuna fish. Alive! I take one bite out of its bony back and then I swim back to the top and continue. You took a bite out of the tuna fish and then you just... You go into the ocean, pal. You go. You jump into the Atlantic right now. Jump down to the bottom of the sea. You're going to find fucking 30 tuna fish with big ass bites taken out of their backs, motherfucker. Uh-huh. You're going to find them. I mean, I doubt it. You They're know. there. They were probably bleeding, which nope. probably attracted sharks. Nope. They are there, buddy. Which un- They're m- there. They definitely died. They are there. Don't fucking talk like that. The tuna fish are alive. I left them living. All right? They're fucking there. All right. You're not all there in the head, are you, pal? You're not even listening to the tale. So here's I how I slept. I definitely don't want to be all here. I definitely want to leave. That'd be nice. Shut the fuck up until I get to you. Awesome. You want to hear how I slept on that 24-month adventure? Yeah. When I was in grammar school, all right, I was in grammar school for at least, oh, God, I don't even know how many years. I'll tell you this. I was the only first grader who was 13 years old. I was in grammar school for a long fucking time. Somewhere between the first 10 years and the second five years, I learned a trick that was better than any trick I had ever learned in my days. That's right, and this wasn't something that my father taught me. This was something Johnny learned on his own because he's a fucking mastermind, a fucking hero, a fucking wizard. I learned that I could take notes and snooze at the same exact time. Here I am, little Johnny sleeping, and I'm taking notes. You see that? And I'm taking notes. That doesn't seem I'm like sleeping, a great strategy. I'm sleeping, and I'm taking... Yeah, sure, the notes were a little fucking crooked and a little diagonal, and the teacher would throw stuff at me and yell at me and tell me, Hey, fat boy! Stop fucking writing! St- stop sleeping in class! And write the fucking notes! And then I get all scared, shit. Sure. But I'd say, hey, look, I wrote the notes, you dumb bitch. They're right there. And then she'd smack me in the head and she'd send me off to detention where they'd make you eat glue sticks! I don't think And they'd... fucking erases! Why? All I know is that I developed a skill to sleep and do my wake. So as I'm out there swimming in the fucking Atlantic Ocean, here I am, snoozing. 
Here I am, I'm swimming and I'm snoozing, people. I'm swimming and I take a breath. Here I am, I'm sleeping, I'm swimming, I'm swimming. Take a breath. This Just like a fucking dolphin or a whale. This doesn't seem possible. I pop back up for air. No, because have, I become one with the water. They have blowholes. One with the sea. And Dolphins the sea becomes one with me, become interlocked. Like me and my wife. And a night of fucking... And fucking good. God, I oh love her. God, you're gonna break your own hands. That's right, because I'm strong. But in '97, all that was taken away from me because that two-year, that two-year swim, mangled my fucking big toe on my right foot. Got all infected with fungus and pus. And the doctor, after doing the surgery, said to me, You can't step foot in any more pools of water for the next year. Oh, so it was, it was only a year. You just had to take a year off. You could just do training, like land training, and then you could just get back to it. So did you do, did you do that? It doesn't look like it, though. You didn't, though, did you? I want to ask you something. All right. What is your passion? I like uh, I like dogs. Dogs are cool. If somebody came into your life and said, "I'm gonna kill every fucking dog you see for the ho- for a whole year," would that do something to you? Whoa. You see that cute little puppy dead, stabbed, murdered for a whole year of your life? It's gone. That's how it feels. It feels like every dog was fucking murdered. These don't really... For an entire year, my heart was crushed. Your situation isn't really like... There. Maybe if I could... Damn it! Maybe if you said I couldn't see dogs for a year, but... No. Every one of them was murdered for a whole fucking year. (laughs) I couldn't fucking swim, you understand? They took it all away from me. Everything. They took everything from me. Oh, God. 97 the worst fucking year. Cool. Today's guest is the no good, filthy piece of shit from the car wash who flipped me off. So what the fuck, guy? What up? No, no, no. What the fuck is up with you? What up? No, no, no. You don't understand. That's what I'm asking you. What is up? What up? I don't understand. I don't understand what you're not understanding. I'm the one who asks the questions. And I'm asking you, what in the fuck is up with you? What up? Oh, I can't. I'm burning up inside with rage right now, everybody. I literally cannot handle the things that this man is saying to me. So I'm going to fucking ask him one last time. What is up, guy? What up? Oh, that's it. I'm gonna fucking murder you. I'm gonna fucking murder you. After the sponsors, Bobby, hand me the bag of shit. What are you trying to do? Take out my other fucking toe, you dick? I just threw your bag. Yeah, you threw it at my other, my good toe. You know how sensitive my fucking toes are. Fuck you. Do the sponsors. I'm doing the sponsors. I hate you. I hate you. And I hate you. Fuck you. But I love all you out there, and it's because of you that we have to have sponsors on the show because we gotta have sponsors. We don't have a show. <laughs> so that's that. Foist things foist. 
bottle caps, people. That's right. You got to have bottle caps. Otherwise, your bottles will be spilling out all over the fucking floor. And that can't happen. All right? You can't have your fucking liquid spilling all over the place. I got a jar in my bedroom. I'm not going to tell you what's inside of it. But sometimes it spills. And that's because I don't have a fucking cap. Bottle caps, people. Go out and get them. Quit spilling piss all over the goddamn carpet. Our second sponsors, Little Reflectors. That's right. You got a real nosy son of a bitch looking through your windows. You can blind them with this fucking reflector. Yeah. Go ahead and blind the shit out of them with it. Who sells that? You shut the fuck up, all right? Who sells it? Go online to the reflectorstore.com. That's what it's called, reflectorstore.com. Get the reflectors for nosy cunts who look in through your windows at night because you're sexier than they are. There's no packaging. It's just... It's, it comes in the bag. It's just he a throws me the metal. bag of shit, and then I show them where... I show them. Did it come like that? No, I don't know. He hands me the bag of shit, and then I show the people. Did it come like that? You gotta move on, guys. You gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. I'm sorry I can't talk to you all day long. Right. Our last sponsor today, Citrus. That's right. Citrus is now sponsoring us, people. That means any of your Citrus goods, you can get them right here from the show. All right? That means any citrus, any citrus or orange citrus, lemon citrus, lime citrus, fucking kiwi citrus, pineapple citrus. You got scavy, some fucking nasty little fucking rash on you? Citrus will help you, all right? Go out and get your fucking citrus, people. You need it for scavy. Don't be like a fucking dirty pirate, you assholes. Fix up your needs. All right? I'm actually going to open this right now. And just get a little citrus in my system. You want some of this? Is citrus like a company or? That's right. Citrus the company. Citrus.com. You go on there. You type in cantaloupe. Hey, you doing? You're going to get yourself a good. I'm going to actually. So just all citrus. Like yeah, everywhere. Yeah, all your citrus goods. I'm like peeling any, this right now. Like in any store. Any store ever. I'm telling you, any fucking store, you go in there, you see cantaloupe, how are you doing? They have to give you a citrus for free. It just seems a little broad to be a real It's not. Man. It's not, you dumb like bastard. A real, real sponsor. You stop it. Really seem like it's a You're real ruining thing. it for everyone. I'm, I'm peeling this fucking thing, and everyone wants to know what happens when I finish peeling it. Well, I mean, you, the show. I mean you're peeling it, but you're not getting fully through the rye. It's just, you're going to have to... It's hot. I don't have fucking... Uh, fu- I'll just, I'm just going to take a b- bite out of it fresh. No, you're not through the thing yet. It's pretty old, it looks like, too. It doesn't... Bobby, where did you get this? It's the sponsors. They sent it to us. The sponsors sent me this? What's it, let me you. This is fucking putrid. Oh, my God. It's two seats. Is he taking another bite? It's for the show. It's for the show. I know, but, like, you obviously don't like it, which... No, I hate it, but... But like the spon- I love citrus sponsor it. Keep sponsoring it. But they know <sighs> the whole thing. They they want him to eat the whole thing. <sighs> oh no, Johnny! I know that we're like not really good pals, but that's not good. Oh, here, here, bro. I got the bag. I got the bag. I got the bag. <laughs> Uh, yeah. You're all right. I did my best, everybody. Yeah. I did my best. I actually just saved that for later. Put that in the pocket for next time, you know? Oh, no, Johnny. Uh, oh, God. Johnny, I feel like next time, like... Oh, God. Your name's Johnny Cantaloupe, oh, right? Oh, God. Yeah, my name's jo- the Cantaloupe. There isn't a lot of citrus in Cantaloupe. No, there's none. It's a, it's a melon. Yeah, so why don't you, like, get sponsored by, like, melons? You think you're smart? Me- well. You think that you're a smart fella that I didn't already think of that? I mean, I'm not dumb. Wrong! No. You're fucking dumb as shit! I already thought of melons as a sponsor, but you know what kind of melon that I would have on this show? The only melon in the fucking world that I'd have sponsor us. Cantaloupe. You did wrong. 
What? You're dead wrong. Cringes! Cringes is the only fucking melon that I would ever allow to sponsor this show. Cringes, we're looking for you every single day. Bobby, did you find the cringes yet? They don't exist. I'm telling you for the list. Yeah, what's a, what's Everyone a cringe? Everyone stop. Everyone stop right now. I'm furious. Bobby. What? Are you fucking saying to me right now? Are you calling me a liar and saying that cringes aren't real? That I'm a liar? In 1993, I went on a safari in Africa and I went off the trails. I got lost and I found some shrubbery. So I thought, mm, maybe some berries will be at the end of this shrubbery. So I start yanking things out of the ground. And what I found was the most magnificent melon I had ever had in my whole life. Cringe! And I ate every single cringe on that shrub. Every single goddamn cringe! And when I went to the people of Africa and I asked them, Hey, where do you get the cringes? How do you grow the cringes? Like lemons. They all said to me, What the fuck is a cringe? We don't know what cringes are. Every day of my life, I've dedicated towards finding them cringes. And Bobby, you're telling me that you've given up? No, no, I was, what you were saying was what I was saying. They don't exist because you failed, you discovered them. I did. I, 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 I discovered them. Well, well yeah, do you, you think? You them. So, you, you discovered You're telling me that I, I discovered them in the same breath that I, 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 I destroyed them? You distincted them, yeah. I distincted them in, and discovered Ain't that poetic justice, people? <laughs> that reminds me of something my father always used to say to me. He said to me, Johnny, you're ever stuck in traffic? Just get the fuck out and abandon the car. Because life's too short for that shit. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so... We've reached the portion of the show where I get fed up with everything that this guy says and I want to murder him and put my hands around his neck and choke him till he dies. Or tells me his reasoning for all his douchebaggery. So here we go, cocksucker. What in the fuck is up with you? What up? All right. Can't say I wasn't expecting that. Can't say that. What I can say is, you better fucking tell me why the fuck you flipped me off in the goddamn car wash. Or I'm gonna marry you. You crashed. You rear-ended me there in the car wash. You broke back in my car. <laughs> I I I did no such thing. I would never do such a thing, Bobby. No, no, well, he I, was he was in the car. He was in the car. You, He's I lying mean, straight to the, my face. Exactly. You I would never do that. I would never. I would never. I would never do that. You destroyed my car, and then you wouldn't. You refused to pay for a new one. And oh, so I destroy your car automatically? I owe you money. I've been emailing you for months, and you said that you would pay. And then when I got here, you told me to sit down in this chair, and I. All right, just get the fuck out of here. Oh, I mean... Just get the fuck out. No one's gonna pay you because you're a fucking ball bagging asshole. I mean, my car is... Go... No, no. Seriously, just fuck off. Just get out of this. I can't handle you anymore. Just get the fuck out of your embarrassing... Get the fuck out of here! Go! Get him, I'm gonna fucking kill him. Bobby, get him the fuck out of here. I'm gonna marry you. Yeah. And that's the fucking show, people. Fucking Johnny Cantaloupe on YouTube. Johnny Cantaloupe coming at you live with another video vlog podcast. Sit chat with guest feature with your host with the most Johnny fucking Cantaloupe. That's right. Tune in every fucking hour. What day does this come out? Any day. Any day. Just tune in any day. We'll be here. All right, cut. All right, then. That was fucking retarded. How, how, what? I don't know what is. You said he wasn't going to bring up the whole car crash. Why the fuck would he bring it up then? This is not. This is not okay. I didn't. I didn't design this. I'm the designer of the show. I'm the creator. It you follow my rules, and you're letting people not follow my rules, Bobby. 
that's what I was telling Mia. You, you, you're, the, you're, the, you're the star of the show and he shouldn't be. And he shouldn't disrespect Brad. It makes me seem like the ball bagger. Yeah, I know. Like I'm the asshole. Well, you, you seem very stoic. You seem like... I am. You seem like a hero. Thank and you. And Thank you. I think that'll come through Yeah. Years. All right. Are these are off? Yeah, these are off. By the way, how was the colonoscopy? Colonoscopy was rough, Bobby. What happened? I shit all over the doctor. And he was not happy. The bill is extraordinary. Are you gonna pay for my car? Shut the! You get him the yeah, fuck out of here, Bobby! Yeah. What the fuck, bro? I closed the door. That's it. I'm locking the door. He fuck you. I'm, bra- I'm gonna break his head. I'm gonna break yeah. his whole skull. Yeah. All right. Who can make the sun rise? Sprinkle it with cheer. The cantaloupe can and make the world feel good. The cantaloupe can and make the world feel good. Cantaloupe, cantaloupe, cantaloupe can and make the world feel good. The cantaloupe can and make the world feel 